Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we will be doing different V speeds. So let's get started. So first we look at minimum control speeds. Okay. So basically we have two speeds which is VMCG which is the minimum control speed on the ground and VMCA which is the minimum control speed of the aircraft in the air. Okay. So if we look at VMCG, it is the minimum CAS which is the calibrated airspeed during takeoff run at which one engine suddenly becomes inoperative and it is possible for the aircraft to regain directional control and continue takeoff. Okay. Um, you should use only rudder to gain the directional control. No other primary control should be used and the rudder pedal force should not exceed 150 pounds. Okay. This is again a DGCA question. Remember guys. And the next is VMCA. It is the minimum CAS, which is the again the calibrated airspeed at which one engine suddenly becomes inoperative and it is possible to regain the directional control of the aircraft in the air. Okay. So this is on the ground. This is in the air. Again here the, the rudder pedal force should not exceed 150 pounds. The bank which is your this thing it should not exceed 5 degrees and the directional change should not exceed 20 degrees which is your your rate okay so everything that is there in blue you have to remember because they may ask it for your dgc exam so now we'll look at different takeoff speeds okay so before getting into all of these we'll look at screen height so it is different for different type of aircraft for piston engine it is 50 feet for jet engines in normal conditions it is 35 feet and for jet engines again in wet conditions that is in case there is some sort of a rain or uh, due to some other condition the runway is wet in that case it is 15 feet so first up we have v1 which is your decision speed so it is when you decide whether you want to continue with the takeoff or not in case you have an engine failure before V1, you won't continue with the takeoff because you won't be able to reach the screen height at 35 feet. In case you have an engine failure above V1, so in that case you will have to continue with the takeoff because you will not have enough runway available if you want to stop the aircraft in that case. So hence you will continue with the takeoff. If we look at um, V1 like at v1 if you have an engine failure so if you speak theoretically you will have both options either you could take off or you could uh, abort the takeoff so but if you look practically by the time the aircraft announces v1 you will always be above v1 so in that case you will always continue with the takeoff if you see it in a practical way um, that is v1 it is also known as action initiation speed or go no go speed next is vr which is your rotation speed it is when you actually pull back your control column to let the aircraft take off that is your vr so the next is wheel off it is the lift off speed it is when the main wheels of the aircraft lift off from the ground okay so next is v2 which is your takeoff safety speed it is your aircraft speed at which the aircraft is above the screen height so next we look at the different limitations of the speed so first up we have again v1 so the lower limit of v1 is vmcg and the higher limit is vr okay it will be easier for you to understand and remember so higher limit is vr and the other speed is VMBE okay so what is VMBE it is the maximum brake energy speed so if you exceed this speed there is a possibility that the brakes may explode okay so the higher limit is both VR as well as VMBE and lower limit of V1 is VMCG so next is VR which is here so as you can see the higher limit of VR is V2 okay and the lower limit are these four which is 1.05 vmca 1.1 vs 1.05 vmu which i'll explain next 
for single engine and 1.1 VMU for multi engine. So VMU is the lowest demonstrated takeoff speed with both the engines working. It is demonstrated by the test pilots during aircraft certification. So that is VR. So next is VLOF. So the higher limit is tire speed here and the lower limit is 1.05 VMU. Okay. Um, last is V2. Again, the higher limit of V2 is tire speed, same as lift off speed. And the lower limit is 1.1 VMCA and another one is 1.2 VS. So you have to make sure that you remember all of these limits because normally they ask one of these in the DGC exam. So now we look at the approach part of the speeds. So first up we have your landing screen height. Okay, it is 50 feet. It is same for all type of aircraft. So next is your V ref speed. It is your landing reference speed or target threshold speed. So it is the aircraft speed over the threshold. Okay. Um, it is greater than or equal to 1.3 VSO. VSO is your stalling speed in landing configuration. So this is your V approach speed. It is the sum of your reference speed plus we will take into consideration the gust and the wind component. So in case there is a headwind, we will take only 50% of its value because headwind is beneficial while landing. And in case of a tailwind, we will take 150% of the value because tailwind is not that beneficial for us. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any doubts or queries, you can put it down in the comments below or you can DM me on Instagram. So see all of you guys in the next video.